Hey there, Virgo, and welcome back to Unicorn Tarot for your monthly reading. This is going to be a reading for the month of September. We're going to take a look at your past, present, and near future energies. Also, Virgo, if this reading resonates and you would like to book a personal reading, all the information is in the description box below. And of course, if you enjoy what I do and you want even more free readings, make sure to subscribe to my email list. I send out free extended readings every Monday only to my email list subscribers. You cannot get these readings anywhere else. Okay. Main energy for your reading is the Prince of Discs. It's the Knight of Pentacles. Bottom of the deck, you get the Two of Pentacles. So it's a very, very slow moving process for you here. Um, with regards to something, the energies are moving very, very, very slowly because you're confused. The reason that they're not moving much more rapidly is because you keep bouncing back and forth between this, that, yes, no, I'll do this, I'll do that. So the universe is kind of like, well, I don't really know which direction to take you in. So we're going to just move slowly until you figure out which direction you want to move in. And then we can like get the ball rolling. In the recent past, you get the Three of Swords, the Knight of Cups, and the Art, which is the Temperance in this deck. These are really, really beautiful, powerful energies here for you in the recent past following a heartbreak. You're essentially showing me I was experiencing pain. I was experiencing emotional sorrow. I was experiencing emotional heartbreak, but I've healed all that. And it's not even that you've just healed it here in the 3D world. You've restored harmony. You've restored divine balance within these energies. So I don't know what shifted for you in the recent past, but it's like the universe came in and was like the pain that you're feeling here in the 3D world, let's balance it out on a higher level. In the current situation, you get the eight of pentacles, the three of cups and the three of wands. You're really investing all of your energy on either reconciling a connection or for those of you that you haven't gone through a separation, it's spending time with the person. It's literally like physically being in their vicinity, spending time with them, spending quality time with them. That's really what's showing up as important to you here in the current situation. And you're also waiting or anticipating something. So we'll see exactly what it is you're anticipating. In the near future, you get the sun, the three of pentacles, and the hanged man. Some of you may be dealing with a Leo. You really do want to work with this person. Like you're showing me, tell me what you need. Show me where you're at. I'll meet you halfway. Like I'll work with you. We can rebuild this foundation. We can rebuild a solid, solid foundation of this connection. But the energies are stuck. The energies are stuck here. You're coming in with very good energy. I feel like your person, for whatever reason, is keeping the energies on pause here in the near future. So let's clarify. Let's start off with the Knight of Pentacles in the as the main energy for your reading. Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Six of Wands, Three of Wands, which you get again in the current situation, and the Three of Cups, which you also get in the current situation. You really just want to get back to this place where you and this person are good, where you're spending time with each other, where you love each other, where you care for each other, where you're genuinely enjoying each other's companies. You're showing me I'm waiting for us to get to that point because that'll be an indication for me. That'll be a signal for me that we're over the difficult part. We're over the hard part, right? Like we've successfully made it over the hard part. The problem is you're waiting and waiting and waiting because you're showing me the energies are moving so slowly. Like I'm trying to move in that direction, but it literally feels like I'm moving at a snail's pace. You may not realize the energies are moving and building in that direction, but they're moving very, very slowly. And it feels like you're stuck. It feels like it. You're not actually stuck. It just feels like that to you because they are moving so slowly. Let's take a look at the recent past. We'll start off with the Three of Swords. Also, if this resonates, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe. It really helps me out with the algorithm. Three of Swords is clarified by the Knight of Wands, Five of Wands, and the Strength. You get the Strength. Did you get the Strength? I could have sworn I saw the Strength here. Anyways, um, the difficulty here for you in the recent past is you feel like your person is kind of sometimes in, sometimes out. Sometimes interested, sometimes not interested. There's a lot of very hot and cold inconsistent energy here and that really throws you for a loop and it also causes you a lot of emotional pain. You're like, I want to know if you want this, if you don't want this. Are you interested? Are you not? Are you in? Are you out? Um, and it's this kind of, you know, conflict that you experience internally, which is not only very difficult for you to deal with, it also causes you a lot of sorrow. Three of swords, sorrow, right? Obviously, bottom of the deck, you get the sun and you get the sun in the same row. You just want to be happy with this person. And again, some of you may be dealing with a Leo. You get the strength, the sun and the sun again. Your person can obviously be any sign, but Leo is showing up strongly here. Let's take a look at the Knight of Cups in the recent past. The 
The Knight of Cups is clarified by the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Seven of Cups. You're very attracted to this person. As far as you're concerned, this person is your person. Their energy is attractive to you. Physically, they're attractive to you, right? But you're starting to get really frustrated with them in the recent past because they keep throwing you mixed messages, mixed signals. I, I don't know exactly what these mixed signals are about, but I can see the emotional overwhelm that you experience as a result of constantly getting these mixed messages and mixed signals from this person. And you're showing me the judgment at the bottom of the deck. You're, you, you need to decide, like, what do I want to do about this? What do I want to do about this person? What do I want to do about this connection? But at its core, Virgo, you genuinely love this person. You have so much love for them. And all you really want is just for them to give you that love back, to express that love, to offer you their cup of love the way you offer them your cup of love. Let's look at the temperance, which is the art, but it's the temperance in this deck in the recent past. Temperance is clarified by the Two of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Nine of Cups. You're showing me I've been confused for quite some time. I haven't known what to do for quite some time. I'm looking for clarity because once I get to this place of clarity, I'll understand what will give me the emotional fulfillment and emotional stability and balance that I'm looking for. It's this confusion which really throws you for an emotional loop. You don't do well with confusion. You're an earth sign. You like clarity. You like people to be straight up with you. Like if you want this, you want this. If you don't want this, you don't want this. But like let me know. It's through that clarity one way or the other that you get your emotional stability. And because you don't have this clarity in the recent past, it really does throw you for a loop here with this person. At least internally for yourself. I don't even know if you're expressing this to your person or not. Let's take a look at the current situation. We'll see the Eight of Pentacles. Eight of Pentacles is clarified by the Queen of Cups, the Eight of Pentacles again, and the Death. Some of you may also be dealing with a Scorpio. You're focusing all of your energy, literally all of it. You're like, I'm putting it towards getting this flow of love between us. I love you. I know you love me. Whether you tell me, express it, don't express it, it doesn't matter to me. I know that what I feel for you, you feel for me as well. All of your energy currently is focused on building and fostering that. You're showing me the Eight of Pentacles twice. And this is you, Queen of Pentacles. I don't assign gender to my cards. You're taking all of your energy and investing it in essentially resurrecting this connection. Even if things didn't end between the two of you, you're going through a lull. You're going through a slump. And you're like, I know you love me. I know I love you. Let's build. Let's create. Let's move forward. Let's foster this beautiful relationship and this beautiful connection that we have. Let's take a look at the Three of Cups in the current situation. Three of Cups is clarified by the Four of Wands, Ace of Cups, King of Wands. Yeah, you just want a new beginning in love with this person. You're like, we have such a strong bond. We have such a strong connection. Let's just bring back the love. The love is not on the surface. The love is underneath right now. And you're showing me, I want to bring it back to the surface. I want you to feel loved. I want to feel love from you, right? Your energy is really, really beautiful here, Virgo. But the problem is you're dealing with someone, King of Wands, this person is very cocky and they really have a very, very fragile ego that constantly needs to be supported. You constantly have to tell them how amazing they are, how much you love them, how much you care for them, how they're the most important person to you, how they're so significant, right? And I can see you doing that. I literally see you doing that. But it's like you constantly have to keep pouring and pouring and pouring and pouring into them and you, you're doing that. You're able to do that. But are you not drained? Are you not exhausted from constantly pouring your love and affection and attention onto this person and into this connection to make them feel good, to make them feel happy in order for this connection to keep working and keep growing and keep moving forward? And maybe you're not. I don't know. I would be, but I don't know. Maybe you're not. Let's take a look at the three of wands in the current situation. Three of Wands is clarified by the Judgment, the Emperor, and the Page of Swords. You're waiting for this point for you to make a decision. You need to decide. Remember, you showed me the Judgment. I think it was somewhere in the recent past where you need to decide what to do. What do I do about this person? What do I do about this connection? Right? But you also view this person as overall somebody who is very, very in control. They're very authoritative. They're very much in control. You look at them as like the divine masculine in this connection between you and them. 
But you also have your doubts. You're like, this is what I perceive them as. This is what I think they are. But are they really? They're starting to be some cracks in this facade of how you view them and how positively you view them and how much you hold them to like a high regard. They're not everything they seem to be in, in terms of like the energies that they bring to the table. They appear very confident. They appear very in control. They appear very dominant. They're not. They're not. And it seems like you're starting to see behind their mask in the current situation let's look at the sun in the near future sun is clarified by the four of cups the sun again and the knight of pentacles which is also the main energy for your reading you're becoming it's becoming very very clear to you in the near future that you're bummed out because the energies feel stuck to you and remember this ties back to the main energy for your reading the energies are not moving as fast or at the rate that you would like them to move. And that really bums you out. That really saddens you. And it really disappoints you. And it has to do with this person and this connection. For some reason in the near future, it becomes very clear to you. Like I'm literally walking through mud. Like I'm walking through tar. I'm marching in place almost. You're not. You're actually making some progress. But it literally feels like you're marching in place. And that doesn't work for you, Virgo. You're like a go-getter. And coming to this realization where I'm literally like, you know, almost stuck in place, it doesn't feel good to you. It really disappoints you here in the near future. Let's take a look at the three of pentacles in the near future. Three of pentacles is clarified by the knight of swords, ace of pentacles, three of pentacles again. You're taking action here in the near future to rebuild the foundation with this person. You get the three of pentacles twice. You're like, look, I'm not giving up on this. We're going to get into a better place. We're going to turn over a new leaf. We're going to have a new beginning here. We're going to literally level this connection up. You're going to work with me. I'm going to work with you. Let's work on rebuilding the solid foundation so that we can create and move forward. You're the one taking action, not your person. You're the go-getter in this relationship, Virgo. I hope you're aware of that. You're the one that runs the show. You're the one that dictates what happens, when it happens. Like, You're the one that takes action. Your person is much more passive than you are when it comes to this connection and the energies they bring to the table in this connection. Let's clarify the hanged man in the near future. Hanged man is clarified by the high priestess, the six of cups, and the temperance. You got the temperance in the same row in the recent past. You're feeling a little stuck here, right? Because on the one hand, your intu in I can't even talk. Your intuition is telling you, Virgo, this is a soul connection. This is a divine connection. You and this person have so many beautiful memories. You have so many beautiful times together. That's what your higher self is telling you. On the other hand, remember, you got the temperance in the recent past tied up to, I don't know how to make myself feel emotionally fulfilled how to get that emotional fulfillment that I'm seeking in this connection. This person is not giving you everything that you want and need emotionally. There's something lacking. And in the recent past, you were trying to figure out how can I get them to give me all of that. In the near future, that's still an issue, right? But your higher self is coming in and trying to be like, okay, don't jump the gun. Don't do anything hasty because remember, this is a soul connection. This is a divine connection. You have so many, so many memories together. You have so much positive history together. Don't just throw it all away. Let's take a look at what the universe wants you to keep in mind this month, Virgo. From the universe. Oh, I usually only take three cards. Four came out. So you get the moon, the knight of pentacles, which is the main energy for your reading. The eight of wands and the four of pentacles. <sighs> There's a lot of things which are not clear to you here. It's kind of like you are fumbling around in a dark room when it comes to this connection. And the more you try to communicate with your person in order to get them to see it from your perspective, to get the ball rolling, to be like, hey, let's work together. Let's build this connection. Let's move in a positive direction the more shut off they become. So it's literally like you're coming at this, like let's have a conversation, let's be open, let's be honest, let's be transparent, let's work together. The second you try to have any conversation with this person, they just clam up. They just literally shut down. They don't want to talk about it. They don't want to deal with it. And you're just kind of like, well, I'm marching in place. Like we're not making any progress. We're not getting worse. We're not getting better. We're not moving forward. We're not moving back. We're just like stuck in place because you literally refuse to have the difficult conversations, not you, your person, Virgo. Um but you don't give up. You keep trying. You keep trying. I can see that. Good for you, man. You, you are tenacious. I will say that. But Virgo, that is what I have for you. I hope this reading helped. If it did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe and I'll see you here on the next one.